All right, so I got the fish up off the bottom. When I felt that bite, I gave him a quick couple spins of the reel to hook that fish. Now I've got him hooked and I'm up off the bottom, so I'm just gonna finesse him. If he digs, I'm gonna let him dig and I'm just gonna slowly reel him up. So he's digging a little bit. This to me feels like a nice snapper, shaking his head a little bit. What's funny is a lot of these snapper species, they have kind of the same head shake, kind of a quicker head shake, a little easy to tell what's a snapper. And a lot of times the snapper species will kind of give up. I have a feeling here in a second, we'll see my rod tip kind of come up a little bit and he'll kind of give up a little. See right there, his head shakes, he stopped digging. He's just kind of coming up smoothly now. So with these red snapper, trick to these guys, get them vented quickly. Uh, and you never want to poke or try to vent the fish in his stomach. You always want to try to vent the fish right where his fin kind of comes down. You can use the pectoral fin as a target. You just lift up the scale and puncture right in there through his swim bladder and you'll hear the air escape. Once that air escapes, he's ready to go back down to bottom. That air escaping is what allows him to swim back down to bottom. If you don't vent the fish, he's going to float away and die. So it's very important that you vent the fish properly, get him back in the water quickly. That way he has a chance to go back down and live another day. That way you can catch him next year when he gets a little bit bigger. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wet a line today